Now, our next guest doesn't just like dressing up in vintage clothes. She is so fascinated and obsessed with the 1940s, she's dedicating her whole life to the era. Joanna Francis has spent 10 years transforming her home into an exact wartime replica. Well, Katie Rickett is there. Is this like going back in time in the old TARDIS? It certainly does feel like that, Piers. We're here in the parlour where, of course, she has no television, just this beautiful uh, gramophone. And we've also got a real coal fire, which apparently not many people uh, know how to light these days. And if you follow me through the house, it is really like a journey through time. Now, this is the living room, uh, which many of you might now call a kitchen. Uh, and this is a beautiful range that Joanna has got. She's ripped out her entire central heating system and instead paid £1,000 to ship this in from Russia uh, to do the job for her and we find Joanna now in the scullery where I have to admit she's just been out to empty her bedpan into the one toilet in the house so we won't dwell on that Joanna uh, but this really isn't just an aesthetic thing for you is it? it's a way of life yeah this is how I live I try to do it as authentic as possible this is how I do my washing that's my bath that I have in front of the stove, nice and warm. I've got a bomb blast shelter down the end of the garden um, to keep me safe, obviously, in air raids. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something I've never seen before. Have you ever used it? Um, no, because I've still got the beds to make inside, so I haven't actually used it yet, so that will be happening. <laughs> and what is it you love so much about the 40s? Traditional roles, the etiquette, the morals, the standards. People helped each other. Simple, simplicity, things like you know, just playing a game together, board games, things like that. Listen to the gramophone. Now you've worked tirelessly for ten years to build this house. So let's yeah. see. Uh, we've got uh, Rob Robinson from the University of Hull, who's a historian. Hello, welcome. Hello. Uh, we thought we'd ask him just how authentic this house is. So Rob. What do you reckon? This is incredibly authentic. It's right down to the bottom, you know, to the fingertips, really. You've got scullery here we're studying. You've got the old-fashioned sink there. Look, just one tap. Everything went on in there. Kids got washed. The works. And the place is in every detail as it would be. And she really lives the life. Look over here. We've got a, a food safe. Nowadays, we're all used to refrigerators and freezers. But this is how you kept your food uh, fresh in those days. It was really quite something. Because, you know, how were you going to keep your, your, your food fresh enough to eat? This was a really cool room. Great there's, place. There's something she's missed, though. There's there? one thing missing, unfortunately, and that's the toilet paper. We haven't got that really shiny, skiddy <laughs> toilet paper that people will remember. What we've got is modern toilet paper, because we can't get the original stuff Too anymore. Too expensive now as well. And that is the one, the, one of the craziest things about this. A lot of this stuff is actually more expensive uh, than modern-day uh, mod cons. Now, Joanna, obviously you love this lifestyle, but this one you find very difficult isn't there yeah finding a man to share it with somebody to listen to my 78s my george formby on my gramophone uh the nice cozy nights playing a, a bit tiddlywinks <laughs> well there you go if you love tiddlywinks you like your dinner on the table every night and you want a lovely woman to look after you she's here and waiting oh i love it a 1940s date all right katie thanks very much indeed great to meet her lovely house really yeah you thought that was lovely She's done it beautifully. It's, it's all Each very to their own. <laughs>